Now, when working in post-production, especially on a checkerboard and dialogue, or maybe music production, when you have takes that have been recorded in different times, you are going to be dealing with different levels in terms of dynamic range within a performance. Now, the level or module is going to help us out to create a more contained balance of the overall dynamic range of our program material. Let's see how it works. As usual, I have prepared an example for you to let you hear the problem that we're going to try to fix with Isotope RX. In many cases, dialogues have a lot of dynamic range. I mean, we're natural human beings, so it's normal that dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. Generally, though, when we mix for film or for television, that... Right, you got the point. Now, one advanced tool that we have to fight this very wide dynamic range problem is a module in RX called Leveler. Let's see how it works. As normal procedure, I'm going to create my playlist rename it dot rx all right i'm gonna send this to repair and i'm going to open my leveler which is right here now the leveler doesn't have a learn or a preview so we're going to be comparing each step of the way with our compare window now, the leveler module has a couple of interesting parameters. The first thing is the optimization parameter. And it lets you optimize the, the, the program material for either if you're working for dialogues or music, which in this case, I'm going to leave it for dialogue. Then you have a target level. The target level is, of course, expressed in RMS, roots mean square. And right now, I have set it up already at 24, minus 24 LKFS. Then down at the bottom, we have two extra sliders. One is the responsiveness slider, and the other one is the preserved dynamics slider. Now, the preserved dynamics slider lets you limit the amount of gain that the module will apply on the overall source. Whereas the responsiveness have two different ways of working. So if we increase the responsiveness, uh, we're going to smooth out the levels. And, um, and so we're not going to have a lot of dramatic rises and dips in dynamics of our program material. If we lower instead our responsiveness, once we move the, the, the slider to the left, we make the leveling a little bit more active and we increase the overall dynamic range of the program material. So what I'm going to do right now is try the two extremes, so a very low responsiveness and a very low dynamic range. To do so, I'm also going to display the clip gain line so that you can see the automation being written on the overall volume. Now, another thing you want to keep under control is the S reduction and the breath reduction. As a matter of fact, the more this plugin or this module will help us to level up the overall dynamic range, the more, you know, things and unwanted things like S's or breath are going to come up. With this module, you can always keep all the S's and the breath under control, making sure that the module will only focus on the actual program material. All right, I'm going to select the entire clip and I'm going to put my responsiveness, let's say, at 2, and my preserve dynamic at 5. I'm going to compare the before and after. So before. In many cases, dialogues have a lot of dynamic range. I mean, we're natural human beings, so it's normal that dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. Let's see, we did a pass of leveler. So as you can see right now, there was an automation that was pretty much written on top of our waveform, as you can see here. Let's hear what it did. In many cases, dialogues have a lot of dynamic range. I mean, we're natural human beings, so it's normal that dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. All right, not bad. Let's see if I preserve a little bit more of the dynamic range. Let's go on 60 and compare this. In many cases, dialogues have a lot of dynamic range. I mean, we're natural human beings, so it's normal that dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. All right, the last trial is, let's raise the responsiveness to, let's say, five and compare. And as you can see already, 
the overall um, waveform structure has changed a little bit in terms of dynamic. In many cases, dialogues have a lot of dynamic range. I mean, we're natural human beings, so it's normal that dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. Now, I am kind of liking it, though there are still some problems here and there, so I'm going to lower the responsiveness again to, let's say, 3. In many cases, dialogues have a lot of dynamic range. I mean, we're natural human beings, so it's normal that dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. All right. I am kind of happy with what we got over here. So what I'll do right now is to render this state. And then I'm going to manually clip gain a couple of things that the module didn't uh, take care of. So if you zoom in, in this section over here, we have a part that is rather loud compared to the rest of the uh, program material. Dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. So we got to be extremely high. So what happened is that if you place your cursor on top of the clip gain line, a little plus will appear, and this will let you place different breakpoints that will help you to grab and lower different section of the audio. So here's what I'm going to do here. I'm grabbing and lowering it. Let's see what we did. It's normal that dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. And a little bit of the extremely. I want to lower this a bit. Okay. Dialogues will go from very low to be extremely high. All right. So again, over here, we have worked really fast and if we would have spent a little bit more time, I'm pretty sure we would have gained a little bit more of a, of a more balanced result. But for the time being, I'm very happy with what this module did. So I'm going to send it back into Pro Tools, render it. And right out of the bath, you can also tell that the overall dynamic range has been kept a little bit more under control. This will allow you to finesse the overall dynamic range, perhaps with automation later on in the mix. Again, this is another fantastic module that will let you rebalance the overall dynamic range of different takes. So use it, experiment, and get the best out of it. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Ciao.